yeah okay uh, there's a little bit of orientation reorientation of my slides i'm sorry this has become too small so i just want you to appreciate this picture i hope everyone is able to see my cursor so you're basically seeing a normal alveolus to this side that is the left side okay you're seeing a normal capillary the normal alveolo capillary membrane you have the interstitium right over there this is an air filled space you have the type 1 pneumocytes the type 2 pneumocyte which secretes surfactant that's a thing of beauty okay so one of the major hallmarks of uh, you know uh, ARDS is damage to this alveolo capillary basement membrane what happens is there is a whole lot of flooding of inflammatory material into the interstitium into the alveolus you see over here it's flooded with proteinaceous material and a whole bunch of these inflammatory substances okay and uh, not just that you see something happening within the capillaries as well maybe there's some microthrombi happening over there there is accumulation of blood cells over here okay a lot of capillary leak happening right and end result of all this there is going to be surfactant dysfunction also okay surfactant is very very important to hold your alveolus open prevents it from collapsing now once the moment you have a surfactant dysfunction all your alveoli are going to collapse and you do not have in effect you know uh, uh, your surface area for oxygenation is reduced okay what we call as a shunt that is you do not have any gas coming inside the alveolus either because it's flooded or because it's collapsed whereas you have perfusion preserved okay that is a shunt shunt is something amounts to hypoxia in ARDS okay the opposite of shunt can happen when the alveolus becomes very very big becomes over distended it compresses on this vessel so you actually have air entry over here you have a ventilated alveolus but it is so big that it is compressing on the vessel and it is creating what is known as dead space okay so I want you to be clear about this in any given disease lung you can have different combinations of these okay what we call as a VQ mismatch anywhere between the spectrum of say shunt on one end to dead space on the other hand you can have different combinations and the end result of this is what you see on the x-ray okay ultimately you have bilateral florid patches all zones of the lung okay and this is how the CT scan of a somebody with ARDS is going to look right i want you to appreciate that this is a very heterogeneous uh, disease you don't have a uniform disease process going on if you can appreciate starting from lower dome that is pleural effusion probably related to the inflammatory process that's going on this part of the lung has very 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 dense consolidation over here probably that is just not going to be amenable for any kind of ventilatory therapy at all in between here you have some bit of aeration some areas which are bad some areas which are still uh, you know recruitable so this zone of lung is going to be where you would target your ventilatory strategy and the black area what you're seeing over here is what we refer as a baby lung okay so that is in a sense normal lung what is most important when it comes to ARDS ventilation is you should understand that most of whatever you do whether you set a tidal volume or whether you set a peep or whatever you do is going to affect this part of the lung most because let's say you set a blind tidal volume 500 okay this part of the lung is not going to open up this part of the lung may or may not open up so all of the tidal volume is just going to get an easy access into the baby lung in effect you are going to be damaging ultimately producing volume trauma and villi ventilator induced lung injury in this part of the lung and screw the whole process and there comes a time when even this is not available and that's when the hypoxemia worsens okay so one of the most important things that you need to keep in mind during ventilating somebody with ARDS is not to hurt the baby okay and remember whatever you're going to do is hopefully targeted in this mid zone and no matter what you do you're not going to be able to affect this zone Okay, is that clear?